Hey folks, Engineer775 in another crawl space. Just can't seem to get out of here. Um, there, this is another one of our geyser installations. It's a geyser RO. It's part of a solar system that we'll link to in the end of this video that it's uh, complementing. So we're hoping to make all the hot water we need in a, in a daily basis with the geyser because she's efficient to begin with. And the byproduct of that is she's going to air condition, kind of dehum dehumidify this space, this crawl space under here. There's only water in here because we drained the water, the water heater today and made a mess. Um, so this is basically plumbed to a 40 gallon whirlpool standard water heater and the water is exchanging and through a dip tube in here. Cold water comes from the water heater into the bottom of the geyser, goes through its uh, heat exchanger, it's got a little compressor in it heats the water up and then is dumped back through a dip tube and then the hot water rises up and it keeps looping it has its own thermostat you can see that A419 thermostat on there I think it's Johnson controls and you can uh, do a lot of uh, settings and play around with that but uh, right now it's factory default 125 degree water she will run until it's cold it's satisfied we started with 50 degree water so it's gonna take a while I think we're at 75 now because we couldn't drain um, this makes water because it's a heat pump. It's like an air conditioner and So the byproduct of it is condensate. So we have a little condensate pump behind it So it'll gravity feed from the geyser. That's why I have it tipped back So the condensate goes into the condensate pump and then it's pumped outside once she's full and both of those um, components the geyser and the pump are on the solar system uh, um, secure load panel and so this is a choice. This is a, you know, it's a neat way to make hot water with a 120 volt system. It runs about six amps versus the elements in here, top and bottom, 4,500 watt elements, 4,500 watt top and bottom. They don't run at the same time, but you're still running 4,500 watts versus 700. You can put these babies on a timer so that when the sun is shining, you're making your hot water, storing it in your tank. The more, the bigger the storage, the more efficient the whole system is going to be and basically you make all your hot water when the sun is shining and you can get fancy and duck the the cooling if you're on the back of this you, it produces nice cold air and it, it'll it needs about 1500 cubic feet of space to exchange with to work efficiently uh, but if you need it to dehumidify a place or basement so instead of having a dehumidifier Put a geyser in, let it heat your hot water, and you get dehumidification as a byproduct. It's really hard to beat it. Now, yes, it will cool a place down, so if you have it inside a house and you're heating with propane or electricity, it's not as efficient because you're spending money on the heat. But if you have a wood stove, just put just picture you're putting another log on the fire to make enough hot water for you and your family and take that heat out of the room and make hot water out of it using a heat pump technology. So we like the little geyser ROs. We've um, used them for several years. They, we had a little relay issue in the beginning and they have fixed that. They made them more robust. So we're very happy with its performance. Okay, um, we're gonna show you a geyser R now, which is the one without the thermostat. So if, you know, if you're into just saving money on your water heating and you wanna run the geyser R, the geyser R will actually be connected to the thermostat in the lower element and there's no thermostat so use the thermostat from your water heater to control the the geyser and um, so we're going to show you an R in the, the next sequence here and I guess that's it on the RO a lot of different ways you can configure these and use these but um, it's been one of the best hot water solutions I've come up with using um, an alternative energy system to instead of you doing a solar hot water heating system this is a lot less money and it's easy to retrofit to your existing tank style water heater. Okay, now we're looking at the Nile Systems Geyser R series. Sometimes they're RE models. And so this unit is not um, designed to have it, it doesn't have its own thermostat. It's using the thermostat of the existing water heater. And you see the cord going into the bottom where the bottom element goes. This is a 40 gallon water heater. So in this case, this is basically set up as an energy saver. And it's still the same compressor, still makes the same amount of hot water per hour, still runs off of 110. It's just, um, they quote 300% more efficient than your 
resistive element electric water heater. So, um, so in this case, it wasn't really a prepper uh, item, but it is a money saver. The cat loves it, and um, and it, what it does, to, it, what it's nice if you have a you know a room that you want to keep things dry and dehumidified, climate controlled. This baby will do it. So um, again, the great byproduct of it is um, kind of air conditioning that comes along with the ride, and the cat just is just crazy about Nile Systems products. So anyway, just want, closing out the video, you have two choices, the RO and the R. And so if you have any questions about it, let me know. You can also hook them up to a gas water heater, propane water heater, uh, just a tank. You can get a Vaughn range boiler that has no controls or elements in it. And if you just want to heat it because there, there's no storage with the geyser, you have to put the water somewhere. So, but don't think that you're limited to the standard electric water heater. You've got a lot of options. And the bigger, the better. Um, and then, like we talked about, if this was on a timer and it was hooked to solar, you could do it all day long and store it for when you need it. I think that just about covers it. Um, anyway, if you know of a better heat pump, water heating, retrofit system, I'd like to know about it. Still looking for one. This is the best I've found so far. Engineer 775, signing out.